Welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2021 Online. We have a $250 donation from Flyceratops. My favorite childhood memories of, are staying up late, watching Letterman, then playing SMW with my grandma. Granny was a gamer, and I make this donation in her honor. She would have loved this. Miss you, Granny, and crush this Kaizo. Thank you, Flyceratops, for that very generous donation. We have a $250 anonymous donation that says, Boos. Want some donations? Of course you do. And we are not going to waste any more time, chat. If you thought the cape in Super Mario World was really just for flying over levels and speedruns, don't blink and start taking notes now because a cape can do so much more. I am thrilled to be able to present to you playing BK's Let's Give Up, the first ever cape mod in GDQ history. Take it away, Mr. Mighty Mouse. All right. Hi, uh, my name is Mr. Mighty Mouse, and we're going to be running an SMW mod called Let's Give Up. Uh, it's only six exits. They're all a little bit longer, and they are all uh, cape levels, which is terrifying to some people, but I love this hack. Uh, on my couch are two familiar faces if you're watching the last run. If you want to introduce yourselves. Sure. Hi, I'm Third Wall. Uh, I think you already know me. Hey, Amy. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, the we, me and Ben just decided to keep the team together for our commentary. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess we can get started if y'all are ready. Ready? Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's get I will count us down on go. Three, two, one, go. Hey, I'm like the last game. I spe actually did speed run this one. And I didn't. <laughs> we you flip didn't? flopped. No, I did we not. We did. <laughs> <laughs> this I isn't do. worth it. Let's let's give up. All right, the run's over, guys. <laughs> we we can call we it. We did it. GG. Nice Too long, Yasi Paul. <laughs> Cultured game. Yeah. Cultured game. Two line Yossi. <laughs> Speaking of cultured games, the very first level, Slopes and Munchers. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, go no, on. go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, Amber, I was just going to say, uh, yeah, so this is uh, a, a nod to Super and Ultra Slow Munchers by Link Dead, but with Kate. And uh, we're, it is the shortest. It is. The shortest level in the game, and I don't have much more to say about it. <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna be how this, how this one goes. The, the levels are relatively short. The sections go very quickly, and there's, we're just gonna have to be along for the ride. I think. Yeah, we're just gonna like, I think overall talk about levels and not like individual tech about what's going on because this game is very flashy, very fast. There's gonna be a lot going on. And, and we're not going to be able yeah. to cover everything. <laughs> and, and Cape Tech is very, very deep, and there is a lot of intricacy to it, so it would take a long time to actually explain what's happening, and it's easier just to enjoy and and just have fun. Yeah, so yeah. broadly... I was going to say, this second yeah. level is all Yoshi. Yeah, yeah this level is called Horse Flying Disorder. <laughs> Yoshi's a horse. Uh, he lays eggs, he's a horse. Um, yeah, the, the last hack was very... Uh, cultured. It uh, cited poetry. This one, not so much. <laughs> God, this this trick. Yeah, that that jump off. Uh, that uh, skip to the second shell and, and then hitting the note block is hard. But so is not skipping the first shell. That just hitting that first note block. Yeah. This is one of the only things that I would consider inconsistent in this game. Yeah. I, I would say that it was probably the only thing I ever found inconsistent besides like occasionally dying to the, uh, on the first level. But that's the first level. You reset out of it pretty fast. <laughs> Yoshi eats giant moles. That's lore. <laughs> yeah, it's good to know that Yoshi can eat almost anything. This is a very input heavy uh, game. There's a lot of sections that require kind of finger gymnastics, especially Yoshi stuff. Anything that requires Yoshi and Cape is going to require a lot of inputs and a lot of uh, interesting things that you have to do with the controller. It is 
blue blocks are uh, broken by fireballs or the green blocks broken by shells. You're gonna see variations on uh, on that theme throughout. And an important thing to note in this game is that every level ends with a boss rush. Uh, there are as many boss bosses in this game as there are other sections in the game. So it's it's literally half bosses. <laughs> yeah. There are, there are six levels that we play in this route, and in that uh, set of six levels, there are 20 boo bosses. Yeah, they're all boos. They're all big boos. Uh, in BK's words, uh, the big boo is like the potato of SMW bosses. You do just about anything with it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it is it is one of the more versatile vanilla bosses. Uh, yeah. Here you see he utilized everyone else's favorite boss in in SMW games. Uh, yeah, the homing bomb boss. Thwomp. Homing thwomp. <laughs> Every everybody loves homing thwomp. Everyone loves homing thwomp. The scourge <laughs> of standard hack moderators. <laughs> yes, this this is boost. Yes, it is all it is all boost. Yeah, uh, this is all boost. Chat. Yeah. Oh yeah. If, Oops, if you thought boos. Stork, if you thought Stork said some booze, get ready. No. <laughs> yeah, see more home, more homing thwomp. Yeah, more homing thwomp. <laughs> and this, uh, Yoshi fly. This level is one of the only levels I've enjoyed a homing thwomp. In. <laughs> and that's only because it's very not that threatening. Yeah. <laughs> it's very easy to deal with. Can I get a couple donations in real quick? Oh, yeah. We have a $50 donation from you, Genji, that says, shut up and take my mice. <laughs> and we have a very important $250 donation from Endless Revolt, Cape. Cape. <laughs> Cape is good. Cape good. Uh, Cape is neither good nor bad. So if you're familiar with Kaizo, then you probably have seen a sky tree. Uh, this is a sky tree, but with Cape. Yeah. The, the nice thing uh, about Cape Kaizo, uh, in BK's words, is that it's basically free real estate because you just take existing level concepts and add Cape to it, and you got a level. <laughs> when BK first told us he was making a Cape Sky Tree, a lot of us, like, shuddered. This level rules. This, this is, yeah, it ended this up is being honest, so much honestly fun. Honestly, one, one of my favorite levels in the, in the game, so. I love how fluid yeah. it is. I, I think movement is so good. I, I, I play tested this uh, over various stages of its creation, and uh, I play tested it, I believe, before BK played a very difficult cape uh, game called Pipe Dream, and then afterwards. Pipe Dream. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you, you can really see the, the inspiration that BK got from the more difficult games uh, as he went along. And uh, it, this really turned into a, a, a fantastic game. It's, it's really I, great. I also remember testing this level, and every single time I tested it, it had another room, and it just kept getting longer. <laughs> and then it had pee balloon all of a and sudden. And it has pee balloon. Yeah. <laughs> the pee balloon sections are mercifully fairly short. Which are the best pee balloon sections in any game. Everybody's favorite power up. Honestly, one of my favorite sprites. Uh, ever made by Nintendo is P Balloon Cape Mario. It, it's <laughs> it's what certainly a, a sprite, yes. What a, what a sprite. Someone certainly <laughs> made that sprite and put it in a video game. <laughs> if I may. Yeah. yeah, go for it. I have a $500 donation from BK. Who would like to make a rebuttal? Yo. Who would like to make a rebuttal to you, Mr. Mighty Mouse? <laughs> this hack is very cultured because half the levels are jump callbacks. Also, trans liberation. That is fair. 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 Thanks, BK. Yeah, thank you. Also, uh, contributing to the cultured nature of this hack, homing lava lotuses. Yeah. Cult very cultured custom sprite. So uh, some of the some of the bosses are are glorified survival rooms where you just have to fly around kind of slowly and dodge projectiles. No. Uh, they are quite difficult. They're yeah. very difficult. If you anytime you notice me speeding up and slowing down, that's something I'm manually doing myself. So there's <laughs> lots of tiny little controls in this. 
PK, you are excellent. <laughs> we have time for a couple more donations. Go for it. We have $250 from Char Bunny, Homing Thwomp, colon, capital D. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a $1,000 donation from Tim, who just simply Yo. says, love. <laughs> That, that sure was a, a fire pattern you had there. Yeah, that <laughs> happened. I feel like I've seen just about every fire pattern in this level, but then there's always another one. Uh, 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 uh. We're good. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> this might be my favorite uh, boss in this I game. Love it. I love so this, th one. so this is actually a callback to a very very famous old old uh, Kaizo hack called Cool or Cruel, uh, and this is from <laughs> Tubular. It's 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 definitely worth a watch if you haven't seen it before. Shout outs to World Peace. Who's, yeah, World uh, stuff made ten years ago is still ten years ahead of what we're still making today. <laughs> World Peace did it first is basically the Simpsons did it of of Kaizo. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> I'm just dodging Bullet more hell. lotuses. <laughs> yeah. Hello, room. You'll, you'll start to notice a pattern in some of these bosses. No. Nice. E Yep, and one thing you'll notice is the levels progressively get longer and harder, although that is the second longest level in the game. Now my favorite level. I love this level. I do uh, too, but it's also very much a problem level. Yes, in the speedrun, yes. This is, <laughs> this is probably visually the most satisfying level. Uh, it's, it's based on a jump level by Anonymous Bloodlust called 1F8. Uh, so obviously the name of this level is 1FK. <laughs> Same music and everything. Shout out to Alcatraz. Gah. Yeah, so, so there's some interplay of, uh... Uh... Bleh, bleh, bleh. Good lord, I'm tired. Uh, there's some interplay of some screen wrap here. You'll see a uh, mouse wrapping around to the other side of the screen. And... So something that makes all of these tricks possible that's really important to explain is uh, with Vanilla Mario World, when you try to turn around, it's essentially random whether or not you'll get it. It's on a frame rule. Uh, but in this, it's been patched, so you can turn around at will, which makes it a, a lot more fun to work with in a Kaizo setting because you can... Yeah. Uh, you can force things like this. Yeah, that is a very essential uh, patch for this entire hack to function. Yeah. The way it's supposed to. This this section in particular is just really, yeah. really pretty. Love the damage. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit too far to the left. This one in particular, it's it's hard to explain how precise you need to be for this, because it is very, very, very precise. Oof. Oof. I love that part right there. And into the pipe, Ooh, one nice. of many, many messed up up pipes in the in this in this uh, in this game. I think the triple sticky fly pipe is the one that really got me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, y'all y'all will see that one later. It's, it's a rough one. Uh, that's that's a special one. So something cool about P Balloon, uh when you whatever state Mario is in when you collect P Balloon, he still is in while you're in P Balloon. So uh Mr. Mighty Mouse was spinning when he collected that P Balloon, so he is still spinning right now. Uh until he goes through the water and then he stops spinning. Two big jumps and into the pipe. Oops. 
more to Sticky Fly. I really like this boss. It's probably the easiest of the bosses, but it is really, really fun and satisfying. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> and it is definitely one of the like safest bosses. Unless, of course, you just never get a Sticky Fly. But because of the uh, because of the screen wrap, even if you like mess up your flight, you're kind of just still flying. You can just fall back down, go back up. Nice. We try and be very particular there in how I fly because if we can not hit him with the middle one, we can do a little cycle skip. Left, right, middle is generally preferred. So you're not here forever. Man, there's a lot of boo bosses in this hack. <laughs> Your favorite <laughs> bosses? So you love bosses. Yes. That is something I am known for. <laughs> Loving bosses in SMW. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, SMW excels at a great many things. It's never been a great boss game, though. And yet, we have some really, really fantastic bosses. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of creativity in the uh, in the Kaizo scene and in the SMW Very scene. Very true. Uh, Shoutouts to creators. Yes. All right, thank, we got thank you. Two more levels. <laughs> Roscoe's, Roscoe's House, House of, of Swaffles. Swaffles. <laughs> Still such a great name. Got on so off the, switches. So this fly in particular, that pump right there that he had to do, uh, is very, very tricky because you cannot go at full speed. Uh, you have to actually slow down there just slightly and do do kind of a half pump. So it's actually very difficult. This is this is a, a big step up in difficulty, I think, in, in the game. Yeah. I yeah, would this, agree for sure. This level's pretty pretty tough, yeah. There's some survival sections in this level as well that are very nasty with a uh, magic Koopa. Oh no, that's the uh, that's that the, the next, next level. Oh, that, oh yeah, that's the disc, that's disco dance party, yeah. isn't it? The final like party. level section proper. This still very Ma difficult. makes you end with that. Uh, the slump part right here. <laughs> It's really easy to get like a really weird last bounce riding those thwomps. Yeah. Well done. And Otherwise. just, it, it can just kill you right away. This is a room that when people play this for the first time, it really can hold them up. This descent is very difficult. You have to very particularly time your pumps. And this is the triple sticky fly. So one, two, two. Oh. Uh, and there's the last one. And, and that pipe is... is particularly difficult because it's actually like a different speed of pull up than all the other ones, which means that like you have to be like slightly different on all of them. We have time for some donations? Yeah. We have $5 from Pumpkin. The whole internet loves homing flop, a lovely flop that homes in on Mario. Five seconds later, we regret to inform you the flop is deadly. <laughs> <laughs> is that a milkshake duck joke? Oh my gosh. That, that, that reminds me of uh, like a portal announcer, like something GLaDOS would say. <laughs> We've been we also... experimenting with thomps. We regret to inform you we are no longer uh, experimenting with thwomps. <laughs> we, we also have $25 from Yarrow Chan who says, if only the booze in Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion could be this varied. Yeah, I've been mentioned, we haven't mentioned it too, too much, but like the music in this game is, the music oh. selection in this game are absolutely incredible. I, think, I just love I, listening to it. I think the aesthetics in this game in general are are honestly some of the best aesthetics that have been Yo, in, a, in a Kaizo game. Yeah. Phantom's here. The mo this is the most cursed thing in this game. <laughs> Not necessarily the hardest, but certainly the most cursed. This 
room in particular is why I didn't speedrun this game. Because I, I, I was thinking about it, and I went back and I replayed this, and I was like, oh, yes, Fanto. Oh, yeah, Fanto. Oh, yeah, hey. sure. Hey, uh, there used to be more Fanto in here, but no longer. <laughs> Thanks, BK. Thanks, Thanks for putting that, only one Fanto. That took an <laughs> unbelievable amount of labbing out to try and figure out, like, what's even slightly consistent for that Fanto not immediately <laughs> traveling at high speed and murdering you. Because it would happen all the time, and it's pretty deep in the run, and it got so frustrating. Liz, why am I not surprised that you love Fanto? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Looking forward to a 96 Fanto hack from Liz. Oh, no. All right, we're on to the final level of the game, also the longest, by roughly a country mile. Now, this is the level with the magic Koopas, I remember. If you will notice, after every uh, room in this uh, level, the music changes, and that's because BK was merciful and knew you would be in this room long enough to where you would need a music change when you left. <laughs> You got the chill music in a really messed up room. That's, you know, you gotta have chill music in messed up rooms. Of course, Mouse got through that room really quickly, so we couldn't really see why that room was messed up. I like, feel like this room is more messed up than the last room. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Not as messed up as this room, though. I had to learn a lot of Cape Tech for this. Uh, it, it was really, really fun, but it is quite finicky and difficult. Hey, remember when we had uh, bad tunnels in the last game that we commented on third ball? <laughs> I do remember. Yeah. Oh we boy, do I remember. Mind. Maybe we should keep that in mind for maybe later in this section. <laughs> B BK took all of the, his formative moments from Kaizo. And, and put them into this uh, so he could torture people like he was tortured. Yeah, basically anything. Say, yeah. Anything unfortunately that for him. us, formative <laughs> moments for Kaizo players are almost always bad. Yeah, pain. anything that hurt him. Yeah, it's always always involves pain. Oh God, this this in uh -oh. particular. <laughs> this. <laughs> the other thing is, uh, if you go too uh. fast through that section, you may think like. Oh, just like go through it at full speed, that'll be like the trick. But if you go through it at full speed, that disco shell despawns. So you have to like really control your speed going through it. I lost my mind playing this. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh, and you can't you can twirl to kill the magic, but you have to be lined up correctly. More Fantos. Triple Fanto. All right, there we go. I nice probably save. won't kill that, you unless you try to grab that key from the right. Then they will definitely And that is a great you. SMB2 uh, <laughs> throwback, because the moment you grab the key, the Fantos come alive. And now we're on to the world's longest series of bosses. Yeah, the game ends with just a humongous boss rush. So out of character from the rest of the game. Right? Yeah, if you if you have <laughs> any dino story, now's a great one. Now's a great time. I have plenty. We have $25 from Sh Shazari. Greetings to my boyfriend who introduced me to speedrunning with the last SGDQ 2020. Now it's kind of became tradition to watch it together. We have $100 from an anonymous donor who says, let's give up on playing video games slowly. We have $25 from Sterling Archer. First time donating, very proud of everyone from this community. So glad we were able to hit 1.5. Let's shoot for two. And we have a $100 donation from Super Ben. Good luck, Mouse. But none <laughs> of us will blame you if you decide to give up. It's way too late for that. This boss. This boss is, is rough. Brutal. <laughs> this boss is really, really easy to mess up on. It's very 
particular in the way that you do it and once you get off a pattern. Getting that right mesh shell out is tough. Come on. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong uh, block. Nice. There we go. Nice <sighs> Focus. Yeliasachan. That boss looks so easy and it holds people up for so long. This is the one just... that where I was, I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I, rem I, I remember this now. Homing bullet. The, this homing bullet is, it, it moves at like the perfect speed to make this feel so awful. Third one's it's, getting flashbacks. I know, this is, it's part of the experience. Like you gotta, there's a little bit of, of uh, PTSD involved. It moves slowly enough to be extremely menacing. It, it just makes you feel so stressed out the whole time. <laughs> uh, nice. Mouse is gonna we try just to get this. We just bully yeah. this magic Koopa for a bit. This is Yoshi getting his revenge. And this is the final boss. Uh, time will end on the whistle of this boss, but we got a few more hits to do that. This boss makes you, the Magic Koopa creates your ammo, and you gotta swallow it up and shoot it out and continuously dodge the magic. This boss takes a lot of hits. <laughs> Usually Magic Koopa, Magic Koopa's magic when it hits a yellow block is some random item out of it or enemy. These are Man. specifically made to be all shells. Man, that would that would have been funny, wouldn't it? If you just That'd if be... you just oh, hanging out God. waiting for a shell and you just get a thwimp instead. And that's fun. G. GG. <laughs> nice work. Such a cool run. I love this game. I love watching that. I love listening to the music. It's so good. Yo, shout out to BK for making a fantastic hack. Yeah, really, really, this really is a great amazing. Game. And on a personal note, shout out to the SMW community. It's uh, it's definitely one of the best communities I've been in in my life. I think it's filled with amazing people. Yeah, you guys all rock. <laughs> it's true. Mouse, that was a 2505. Nice. Nice. Not bad. Thank you. Yeah, that if that was a couple weeks ago, that would have been a world record. But I think first and second place now are 22s, which are about a minute to a minute and a half off deathless. They're, the times have gotten pretty good. I gotta I gotta run this again, so I'm not like seven <laughs> minutes behind y'all. <laughs> That's normally how it goes. I'll leave it to you guys. <laughs> well, that was great. Thank y'all. Yeah. Thanks for having us. And shout out to um, Doctors Without Borders. It's an amazing organization. Mind if I say a couple names? Yeah. Yo, uh, shout outs to Flips, who's the other runner of this game. Thanks for being a friend, Flips. Thanks for being an awesome, awesome Cape gamer. And shout out to Pogio. Uh, for inspiring an entire genre of of both vanilla uh, vanilla Cape and Cape Kaizo. And for that matter, shout outs to Anonymous Bloodlust, uh, who also is a huge inspiration creatively to a lot of people in the Kaizo community. So Yeah. I love this game. Thanks. And the credits music is just so relaxing.
around the world. Thank you, everyone, for supporting this event. Always need more GDQ. Give us that demon souls, please. And chat, if you all did, if y'all didn't know, uh, we have opened bonus game six, which is Demon Souls 2020. That's right, the remake of Demon Souls is up for inclusion on the last day of Summer Games Done Quick 2021 online. It is a $250,000 incentive, and we are already over 10% of the way there. We are over $27,000 towards making Demon Souls part of SGDQ 2021 online. We have some time to get there, but any and everything you are able to give is going to help us meet that and all of the other awesome incentives and bid wars that we have going on right now. And with that, y'all, this is the conclusion of the Kaizo block. And with that, the conclusion of my time here as a host for SGDQ 2021 online. Thank you all so much for rallying to 1.5. We are there, we are past it, and we are aiming so much higher. We are shooting for the stars here. And I know we can get there. Thank you to all of your generous donations, all of the hype you're bringing in chat, all of the love you are bringing for this for this marathon, for these players, and for this charity. It is truly an inspiration and an honor to be on this side of the microphone. And I hope we are able to do some amazing things here on the last day. We are going to bring in someone who I truly look up to as a host and as a just a great human being. An eternal enigma will be on the microphone for what I anticipate is going to be just an absolutely incredible Mega Man run. We are going to take a stretch break. We are going to take a hydration break. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back.
All right, hello everybody. We are back. It is Summer Games Done Quick 2021 online. We are powered by Twitch. I am an eternal enigma and some and some amazing things have happened since you've last heard from me. I'm looking at that uh I'm looking at that ticker right now. Are we at one and a half million dollars already? I think we are. That is superb. Already a million and a half for Doctors Without Borders. We, we don't need to stop right there, do we? No, we don't need to stop right there. Let's keep this thing going because it doesn't matter what time it is for me. It may be 4.30 in the morning where I am, but we are all over the world right now, so I wish you a happy time zone wherever you are. We are here, SGDQ 2021 online. Let me tell you about one of our sponsors as well. Super Meat Boy Forever. Did you know it's finally out? They literally created over 5,000 levels for the game. And if you ask them, they said it's too many levels. They said we should have done like 2,500. You can find out more at www.supermeatboy.com. And these donations, it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. It does not matter. For instance, Captain Steel sends along a $1 thousand dollar donation and captain steel didn't even leave a message no message no problem captain steel